Sweet. Well, I think this thing uh, uh, is uh, the tech part of this is going to just work, which I've probably just cursed it by saying that. Um, so I'll just dive right in. Um, so um, as Megan said, uh, I'm, my name's Dallas. I uh, and this is incredibly ironic that I'm here. It's a weird thing every time I'm here. It's the only place in the world that I go, and it's like there's always that like, huh. Um, and then it's the thing like, you know, do you have a sister named San Antonio and, da -da 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 and all this stuff. And then, then the next part of this is, well, I, my brother's name is actually Austin, which is true, but neither one of us are from Texas. It's just gigantic irony <laughs> everywhere. So, um, but there's a very special place in my heart for Dallas, the city here, um, and uh, I mean the heart that's in me, Dallas. So uh, I am really happy to be here. This is so pro, like, um, even getting invited to do this, uh, Megan, just so incredible. This is incredibly special. Um, I started the business uh, here seven years ago, and then unfortunately left a couple of years later just because of DC was being was so doing uh, so well for us. And since that time, even in the past five years, something special has happened here in Dallas for sure. Uh, this did not happen like whenever I was here. At least I couldn't seek it out. Weld wasn't. Um, to this point by any means whenever uh, whenever I was leaving. It was definitely in its infancy, but you, but you have something very special here. And things that I've learned uh, just from being in other places is that there's um, creative people everywhere. Like I've lived in LA, I've lived in the East Coast, we do a lot of work out of New York, um, just all over the place. And there's always this like grass is greener on the other side mentality. Like, oh, if I was just here, like then I can do this. But it, it's not, it's, it's a complete like facade. Um, some of the most ta talented people I've ever met have been walking these halls uh, here easily. And, um, and some people who are, in, who are not talented at all are walking the halls of some of the most, the most incredible places that, that you can imagine. So um, the creativity, the, what, you can, what you can achieve is, is, is here and, and you have all the tools to do it now. Uh, but anyway, di diving right in. Uh, so uh, I lead a company called De Facto Sound. And um, we focus on television, film, games, breaking that out. We do uh, things like television promos, advertising, documentaries, short, long documentaries, film, uh, film festival type of docs, um, web, a lot of web documentaries, brand stories, uh, even virtual reality, video games, video game trailers. Essentially, anything that pairs picture with sound, except for music, which is a big head scratcher a lot of times for people where they're like, okay, so what is there outside of this music thing that could even do anything for projects or whatnot? And I think that this, what I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you some examples uh, from one scene that, that from, a, from a project we did recently. And I picked it specifically because of, of how we decided to approach a lot of different things. Um, and it also relates to just normal life. And uh, I'm giving this same talk that I'm saying right now, uh, in a couple days in Austin, to filmmakers, where it will be a slight tweak in that. But I think that what's, what's relevant here is that you have, you know, if you want to change visually, if you don't like, you know, the way your living room looks, you can put paint on the walls, you can put paintings on the wall. If you don't like the way that uh, your kitchen smells, you can put, you'll put a candle out. Uh, but with sound, it's one of those things that it is present all the time yet it's so invisible that it just goes right through us. And so you can even have in your life very unpleasant sounds, um, very dissonant sounds that, that are proven to cause health problems, uh, anything from higher anxiety, stress, um, all kinds of stuff. And, and so I wanna use this example just to show like all the choices we can make to make to tweak how we make this world sound. Because we have a, a, a lot, we have multiple layers that we can go through. Um, and, and it's also something that you can apply to your life uh, very specifically. And, and talking a little bit about that podcast, we start to dive into some of these things in future episodes, uh, which is pretty fascinating on, on how sound uh, can affect you health-wise. Um, so uh, starting right out, I'm just gonna jump right into this scene, but it's gonna be silent. Um, and I'm just gonna walk through it. But I'd like for you to let your mind, and sorry it's a little dark, 
I want you to just kind of like, as you're watching it, try to like let your brain fill in all of the sound like you want it to sound like. And ask yourself questions like, okay, something's eerie is going on. Do you want it to sound spooky, childlike, organic, no life? So this is how we receive a lot of projects. Um, you would never know that on the flip side. Uh, but And right now, what your mind is thinking as you're listening to that, or you're hearing all that in your head, is, um, is something as a, as a sound designer, we're trying to capture that first moment where we're watching something and we go, okay, this is the way I know I want it to sound like. And it's really difficult to translate what you've just heard in your head without, no, without an audible experience into a real experience. Um, and that's where it's just uh, where it's helpful to kind of know the layers of, of where how we start to like build build things. And this, these layers also exist in our in our world too. Um, so you can think about these just as you walk. And, and hopefully, I'd encourage you to leave uh, today uh, identifying some of these layers in your world and just defining is this a positive thing? Is it a negative thing? Do I have control over it? Uh, so this project, really interesting, uh, was a music bed film supply uh, or music bed film challenge that was. Um, awarded to the director, Patrick Baseman, for this concept. Um, the VP of marketing's here, which is awesome, and, uh, and is poking around here somewhere. But, uh, but yeah, they're, they're incredible. They, 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 um, they essentially financed this with a lot of like very strong partners, one of like us uh, providing the sound on this. And it was just an incredible dream team that they've, they just mustered up. And I think that they mustered that up without necessarily spending just tons and tons of money. They just made it win, 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 win. Which is like, if I could define like Music Bed's marketing, it's just for everybody, like win, 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 win. Like make everybody, like no one should be crushed down to like get you um, a little bit uh, ahead. And most of the time you can compound and you can go exponentially uh, higher in marketing by giving <coughs> many people wins on something. So anyway, so getting back to this. so. The backgrounds, uh, these, are, these are kind of the layers that we're gonna go through. We have backgrounds, we have Foley, we have hard effects, and we have uh, emotional effects. And not, I'm not gonna touch on dialogue or music. Those are obviously very important things unto themselves, uh, other than to say that uh, everything anchors on dialogue, so it is important for us to make sure that dialogue just sounds incredible. And there's a lot of skill involved uh, in doing that. That's beyond just putting a mic on somebody. There's a lot of extra, um, uh, processing and, and care and time that, that and where is it going to play that goes into that. So uh, skipping that, skipping those two things. Uh, so backgrounds. So with this scene in particular, so the backgrounds are going to be like things like wind, ambience. Uh, are there going to be crickets? Is it going to be like like an organic thing? It's it's that thing that kind of ties the whole scene together from beginning to end. Like even if you're cutting between different shots, it's like that one consistent sound that's going to not, not change to where you feel like you're in a, in a sense of place. You're not going to hear whenever you move the camera, which is exactly what's happening in the rough cut whenever we get it. Um, it's like cut, do this. It's just like you hear, it's just, it's, it's complete uh, garbage. You can't record any of that stuff on set. It's just too many things are happening. Um, so in this, uh, I'll, I'll show you how, how we approached it and how the, the director really wanted, uh, this, is a, this, this film is awesome, like you should check it out like whenever you, you get back to your computer. It's, it's relatively short, but it's kind of this world, War of the Worlds um, story told through the eyes of this, this child who, um, it's like you don't really know if he's like imagining this thing or if it's, or if it's real, uh, but it's just like, uh, so it was important that like when we, when we approached the backgrounds, we we didn't want it to be spooky because sound design that's spooky is super easy. Like I can almost say that for music too. Like dissonance is super easy. In your life, like your refrigerator is dissonant and not pleasant. Like your computer hum is dissonant and not pleasant. Like whenever somebody's thinking about making an aesthetically pleasing sound, um, they don't really, it's, it's one of those things that you don't really think a lot about um, making. But like making something like pleasant or, um, harmonic and working together is extremely difficult. 
Um, so so this, I would say that something like this, now granted we're using a little teeny tiny thing here with no subwoofer and stuff, so um, you, can, you can listen to the entire thing online uh, to hear all, all the nuance and detail. But I'm gonna play this, what we really wanted to focus on was life, like organic, organic, organic in this forest. Like, and then the second thing was childlike wonder and non-dissonant at all. Even though something weird's happening here on screen, we didn't want the audience to think, this is spooky, like this is sci-fi. Like it was like, we, we wanted to, to be a little bit more mature than that. So here's that track um, with the backgrounds only. So this sound, like, the sound of, of like life is gorgeous. Like I don't think that there's, uh, I, I, you know, we, we, we create music, we create pleasant experiences, but like there's nothing that compares to the sound of like beautiful nature. Uh, like the most beautiful sound, I think, I've, the most beautiful sound I've ever heard in my life was at the top of a mountain in Kauai, in Hawaii, where there's no, there's nothing to hear. Uh, all the trees are below you and it's just pure quiet. And, and but just lush beauty uh, everywhere. So um, I, that's something like as sound designers, we're just like really passionate about telling people. It's just like you don't as much as I mean I love music, uh, but and use that, but like don't underestimate the sound, the power of nature. I mean that is that's beyond us. You know that's huge. Um, and so that's what we're trying to recreate. And I love that that scene so much. It's um, it's one of my favorite just like background tracks because it's so full of life and frogs and bugs and um, it, it's just there's so much like uh, layer and depth to it. Um, so so going on to the next thing, uh, foley are things that you touch. Uh, typically, these are things that you that you have to perform because if you just try to cut this from a sound effects library, like you can't get the performance aspect of it. Like I can pick up that stool in ten different performances sonically. Uh, and they will all mean something totally different. So it's almost an extension of the action or the actor or, wh or what's happening. So that's typically things like your footsteps, that's what you're touching and feeling. Uh, it's a cloth rustle. Um, and it can extend a little bit beyond that, but, but generally that's most of what, uh, most of Foley. There's other ways to, uh, most audio files, I mean audio files and, and in-depth Foley editors might, will tell you all of the other things that there are, but for our purposes that's, that's the, what, what we need to perform to sell this, this uh, this action on screen. So I'll play that ne that exact same scene, so no backgrounds, no hard effects, no emotional effects, and then that's just only gonna be that Foley track. And the reason that that's so important is because whenever you're on a set, the only thing you care about is the dialogue, because that's just what you, like if you can capture the dialogue of an actor or a subject in a documentary cleanly, um, you're not gonna get, like with a microphone right here, you're not gonna get this like nuance and performance out of feet or what you pick up or like going through brush. And so that's where it's like, put, whenever we're in post uh, and we're watching that screen while we have a microphone this close to all of this action or this close to our feet, um, it gives us the opportunity to um, really like draw more performance out of it, uh, which that's critical. I, I think that like the scene wouldn't play as, um, as aggressive or as emotional without that. I mean, so compound that with backgrounds, compound that with where we're at performance with Foley. Um, it's a, it's an important thing. And honestly, it's like, it's kind of like 
in real life, uh, like I hate, I don't like the sound of like the ticky sound of the um, of the floors. Uh, I forgot what kind of floors they're called. We all have have them somewhere, but it's that linoleum, linoleum floor. It's like it makes it sound like. Um, so it's like that, that's kind of one of those things that, uh, in life I'm just like, uh, like for me, like the, the, and we're, we haven't gotten to, we're about to talk about hard and emotional effects. I should just go right into it. Um, hard and emotional effects, hard effects, very weird name. Uh, and I've been trying to think of something better, practical effects, maybe. Um, those are things that you typically will build out of a sound effects library. These can be things like uh, bang of fireworks going off, the crunch of a car crash, debris, um, things, uh, explosion guns, things like that. You can, you build uh, anything you kind of can build from a lot of pre-existing recordings. Like in our life, like for me, like a door shut, my wife and I were talking last night about how amazing it would be just to have the satisfying door shut, like of a heavy door uh, in, in a house or like the super satisfying thunk of a, of, uh, of a newer car door, which there are product sound designers out there designing those sounds of, of their door shutting. Uh, if you even think, um, you know, 15 years ago, maybe like a Ford Taurus or something, if they had those then, um, there were, it was a different sound. It was like, it just didn't feel, it didn't sound at like a, it was just like a little bit more rickety. Now, most of our cars, uh, there are product sound designers on, at the, the car companies making sure that like every time they shut the door that you have a satisfying, this is a well-built car. Because a lot of like what your feedback of whether or not you're, you have a well-built car is is off of just the oral fe feed, feedback that you're getting. Um, so um, so that's that's hard hard effects, practical effects, emotional effects are things that aren't tied to the screen at all. Uh, but it's it's almost like this bridge between music and 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 sound effects. Uh, so it's this thing that's just kind of like uh, it's just this emotional gap that that gulf that fills uh, fills the space. And there's nothing better than just any trailer you've heard. Like it's, there's just like, like those are, those aren't tied to anything other than edits, but those are all like emotional effects. Cause it's just like, they want you to go, Ooh, ah, ooh. now it's like, it's losing its effect. Cause it happens, it happens on everything. Like romantic comedy. Like it sounds like a, like star Wars. Um, so, <laughs> But that's what that's what they keep at. that's that's the style of what we we know. I mean that's a whole different talk of like the what we think things sound like that aren't that don't actually sound like that, uh, based off of media. But here's the hard and emotional effects track of that same um, that same clip. And remember, this is uh, there's no music in this. Big thing, childlike wonder. Like that's what we wanted from this alien uh, that's here. Um, so to jump right in, just for the sake of time, uh, I want to go straight into the full soundtrack. This is including music, all of those elements put together, so you could hear this. Typically, we'd also have dialogue, but in this scene, we just didn't have any. Now it's like sounding like a movie, which is awesome. Um, it's if you look closely, you actually see like a like like a camera person in the background and a C stand and some of this stuff. Uh, but the, the actual final version is online now. 
Uh, I'm going to skip a couple of things just for the sake of time, uh, and I'll just uh, sum, it, sum it up by saying you can. we just launched a brand new website last night, so a lot of this, there's a really slick stuff uh, on there that's really neat to check out. Uh, there's a couple little commercials. Ah, no. There's an Under Armour commercial, Under Armour commercial, Netflix commercial, and a Nat Geo commercial that were all uh, in there. They're all now on our website. So go check them out because they're pretty cool. They're very sound design heavy. Uh, I want to talk really quickly about this um, because this has consumed my life for the past um, two and a half days. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I've been thinking about this for, for two, about two years now, a year and a half, two years, uh, seriously, and then started to very seriously start getting people involved about a year ago. And um, I prepared this talk way before I ever thought this, anything was going to happen with this thing. But kind of suddenly, two, two days ago, um, Roman Mars played my show on 99% Invisible, which um, made my stats just like this and my entire social blow up, which is really cool. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a podcast uh, that's, that's essentially telling the stories behind the world's most recognizable and interesting sounds. And it's all designed to be super topical. Um, whenever I've told people in the past, they're like, oh, that would be um, uh, very cool. I know somebody who like, writes music who would really love that, that show. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, I want your grandmother to like this show. And I want like, your teenager to like this show. Very, uh, very well-rounded. So I'd say if you like any of, the, if any of the stuff that I'm talking about speaks to you, even, consider that like, this, the most technical you'll ever hear on this show. Like, this is very, very topical. Um, so I selfishly would love for you to either subscribe and check it out and tell me what you think. Um, the, uh, I, I set it up to our iOS.20k.org, it works for iPhones. Android.20k.org works like half the time. I have no idea like how Android ever wants to s solve this problem. There we go. Um, but I would love for you to check it out. Uh, and the thing that would like selfishly makes a world of difference right now, if somebody checks it out, leaves reviews, tell people about it. Like, as, as much as like it seems like, oh, it's so trivial, trivial in this, this phase, like those things are so massive. And I've heard other podcasts talk about it, and now I'm in the thick of it. Like it, especially in these early days, like makes or breaks a lot of the way people find your content. So uh, I'd love for you to check it out, and it would be an incredibly, uh, incredible like uh, um, um, gift to us uh, if, you, if you want to check it out. It's been a big uh, investment in time and resources, and we're incredibly proud of it. Um, so yeah, if you want to chat with me, that's, that's all of our other stuff, and, uh, and that's it. So uh, I appreciate your time, and this has uh, been a lot of fun.